Hello friends, my name is Chansekar. Today we will discuss about one of the module that is OS.Path. This is very important module for checking or doing some operation on files. So let's start it. To, to use this module, you need to write import then module name that is OS.Path file underscore name let's check for the one file and get the property for that if os.path is file it will check if the file exists or not okay so if file exists then it will print this is a file so doing this after that you can type as you need the command some if you want to write some command so let's check it how it will show now you can see it is printing this is file because file 01 is a one file let's check how you can check if there is a directory or not so you need to write if os.path is directory and the directory name or file so since file is not directory it will become a false and it won't so okay else this is not a directory let's check in the terminal okay you can see this is not a directory so how it will say based on a boolean value so if you write os path dot directory it will return true or false based on your if it's a directory or file so check value for os dot path dot directory okay okay let's run it you can see it is false because file underscore name is not a directory it's actually it's a file file 01.txt is a file not a directory let's check for the other thing okay if link exists or not you can see file 02 is a symbolic link let's check it so in that you need to write is link okay os dot path is link so it will check for it is it link or file so it will see it's a link right let's check for other function that is base name so base name what it will return is in the end if you can see file 02 it will ignore the directory structure it will return only the last directory name or file name so let's check it print base name of file then file name give some space to identify then os dot path dot base name and then file name or the directory you want to check for in case you have file name so you can see you can see the file 01 at the end it is there so it will return only the file 02 it will ignore the other directory structure okay let's check for dire name so dir name it will return the directory structure not the file name suppose you have whole file name files till file 02 but it will return only you can see it is showing the whole directory structure till file 2 but in dir name it ignores the last line or the, sorry last file and it will return the directory structure let's check for other module sorry other function os.path get access time okay then you need to give the file name for that you want to check here access a for access m for modified c for change you can check any of these based on your requirement now let's run it now it is showing last change time it will show in seconds okay let's check for another function 
that is ospath.join it is a very important function because here if what you can see like if there is a file and the directory structure you want to know the absolute location you need to join to the directory right so in this case let's see it new file name equal to os underscore path dot py let's join it and let's see how it will look os dot path dot join then you need to give the directory name let's say we are giving this directory structure then file name that is in case new file okay so syntax is something like os dot path dot join then directory name then file name for which you want to join it or get the absolute path let's comment it this one okay and run it here you can see we have given os underscore path dot py but now it is returning a absolute path if you liked my video please share and like it and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you want to know any more topic please comment it